Welcome back to the J Mad Show. It's your boy J Mad. This is the J Mad Show. Y'all know what it is. This is a clip I want to play for y'all. I'm not gonna say that this is a reaction, but this is something that I was recently talking to my wife about. There's a lot going on around the world. I did a podcast about this a few years ago when I was going through like my spiritual uh, awakening or uh, trying to understand more about the religion that I found myself in. And I hope that this information might spark something in you to look a little bit further than you have before, find out what facts are, what's untrue, decipher for yourself. But I wanna play this clip because it's controversial. I don't wanna to say too much on it, but I'm gonna let this white man, the guest that he invited on to his platform to speak. Now I also want to acknowledge the fact their dress, whatever you call it, can throw some people off. You know what I mean? They do, they, they do have very interesting garments that they wear. That can kind of throw people off. When you looking at somebody that's dressed like Sub-Zero and Scorpion, trying to teach you about the Bible and historical things like that, it could just, it could really throw you off. But if you just stick to what they talking about, you might be able to have a better understanding of where they're coming from. I definitely want to throw that in there. Go, I, I think he's going to say something. Well, I, I, my question is just, we see you guys rocking the, the six-pointed star and everything, mm -hmm. and a, a layman's interpretation might be to think that you have issues with Jewish people. Or How do you feel about Jews in general and, like, the Jewish state of Israel? Jews in general or the Jewish man, we, we look at him as the imposter. He's not the original Jewish man. He's not the— Like, the only way we can identify who the children of Israel are is to go to the book about the Israelites, which is the Bible. So if you go to the Bible, they don't match the people of the book. The Jewish state became a Jewish state in 1947 after World War II, and they just divided Palestine, which is why they're at war right now. Mm -hmm. They just divided Palestine and by force created an Israeli state. But that's not their land. I believe there was an Egyptian uh, prime minister that said the Jews left black and came back white. Nobody believes that they're the people. Helen Thomas uh, one of the secretaries for the uh, White House, when they asked her what does she think about the conflict, she says, well, they should go back home. And the reporter's laughing. It's like, what do you mean by that? He said, She said, well, they're from German. They're from Poland. They should go back home. They fired her later that day mm. because she told the truth. So they're just not the children of the book. They're the imposters of the book. That's how we look at them. Mm. Why is it that whenever black people claim they're Jewish heritage, mm -hmm. they say that is anti-Semitic. We always hear that trope. Anti-Semitic is a weird term because biblically speaking, Shem, anybody that comes from this, the man named Shem, that's what Semit, Semitic is a uh, English word, mm -hmm. right? It's short for Shem. Shem is a man that uh, had children mm -hmm. and they eventually became different tribes. So the Arabs technically are Shemitic. Mm -hmm. We are Shemitic. Whites are Shemitic. Asians are Shemitic. They're all Shemitic people. The Jewish man, I think, in the 1800s coined the term Semitic to be specifically about them. Mm. And it's really a trick bag. Right. It's a it's a straight up and down. It doesn't matter what you say. If they deem it, if they deem it as derogatory, it's anti-Semitic, which basically means if you don't say everything out your mouth pro-Jewish, you're anti-Semitic. And the reason why they look at us that way is because they don't want to sh to give what is rightfully ours. Mm. So they have to discredit us because if we are Jews, let's say, let's say the Israelis are the Jewish people, and then we lay claim to that. We say we the lost tribes. Mm -hmm. They would have to, by right, give us the same things that mm. they're giving their own Jewish right, people. Right, right. Because so, historically— mm -hmm. The person who spread a lot of the knowledge of Judaism into Europe was a black dude named Eldad the Danite. Right. Around the 8th or 9th century, he mm -hmm. became a celebrity. Mm -hmm. He was saying that there was a tribe of Jewish people in East Africa. Right. Not too long ago, about a couple of decades ago, they did a DNA test on this tribe in Africa, mm -hmm. found out they were really Jews, and they never said anything else about it. Right. So it's proven scientifically that and they historically are. that— But again— that means we got a land. whole tribe in Africa mm -hmm. yeah. that was all Jewish. Yeah, yeah. Right. Jews, Jews, mm -hmm. right? Oh, and they, oh, they saying came you're kind of Jew, right? My kind of Jew, you're, they, like right. the Israelite, kind of right? An Israelite. And so what that means is land inheritance. The same way, like Jewish people, make sure that they stay within their own ecosystem as far as taking care of their own. Mm -hmm. But now, if they recognize 
the black people that are laying claim to that, they would have to give them the same thing. Right. And they're not going to do that. Right. Because, right. of course, they're not the people, and they've just learned to monopolize that term. Mm. They've learned to take mm. over and monopolize, and it's really through their military power. I mean, America funds the hell out of them. Mm -hmm. Even in this Israeli-Pakistani uh, war, if you say, like, they just fired this black woman who was an attorney in New York because she chose to be pro-Palestine. Mm. Now, I'm not pro neither, and I pray no black person makes really an opinion. This is their war. This has nothing to do with us. I don't know if y'all heard what Amari Stoudemire said. Did you hear what Amari said? What he said? Amari Stoudemire said. Oh, I did hear what he said. Yeah. When he, he was, said, fuck yeah, you, the yeah, black yeah, people yeah, that yeah, don't yeah, support yeah. the Israeli people. Well, that's mm. what you just asked. Yeah, what, mm. what? yeah, Amari Stoudemire made a video where he said, if you black and don't support the Israelis, fuck no, you. That's exactly right, how he said it. Right. And what's weird about that is, is, he, is he Israelite? he's a Jewish type of Israelite, though. Like he's like a, like over there, like he wear the black hat and you know dress and act just like them. The the weird part about the Israeli Palestine thing is that in war there's innocence on both sides. When you blowing stuff up, you're not blowing up Hamas. You're blowing up the civilians that have nothing to do with the war. When you do anything to the Israelis, you're not blowing up the enemies. That's that like you, hitting my neighborhood right. and digging everybody pile roots. R exactly. Mm -hmm. And so <laughs> yeah. the earth wants everybody to have all the compassion on the Israelis, but they don't want them to have any compassion on the Palestinians, which makes no sense to me because it's war. Mm -hmm. Nobody's innocent. You, do, you can't divide a land in half, displace the people that was in there, implant the Israeli people in there and then accept them, excuse me, expect them to lay down. They like brought a map. They brought a map. Mm -hmm. Remember in the room? Right. And they were showing how much of this used to be Palestine right. versus how much is just Israel. They, right. They've taken the land. Mm -hmm. And the Palestinians, they were reduced to this little yeah. dot over here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when I first was hearing everything, mm -hmm. I really wasn't paying any attention it sounded like the Palestinians was doing all the stuff to people from Israel. Right. Until I went on Clubhouse, and actually, you know, I went to Blue Moon. And okay. the owner of Blue Moon, he's Palestinian. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, man, your friend, you know, speaking on the wrong side. I'm like, what are you talking about? And he starts showing me all this stuff. And <clears throat> some dude named Sean King Something. <laughs> Something. Tariq's you know, got a lot to say about that. I don't know. I'm cool, I'm cool with Sean King. Oh, you're right. cool with Sean King? I'm cool with Sean King. So, okay. so when you I go to Sean like King's okay. page, right, mm -hmm. he's showing that's, with, that's what I'm seeing guy, right? there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he, <laughs> Wait, we're giving they, him they white? They say he's white. I don't know. He say he's black, but they, <laughs> <laughs> ain't no real proof of that, though, right? Whoever this dude is, everything that I thought it was to be, right, he's showing it was the opposite. So then I start asking questions. So then they like, well, they're controlling the media, they're feeding the media, that is this, that is that, that is this or is that. And I'm gonna be real, quite naturally, I think stuff's been done on both sides. That's what I'm saying. Like, right. neither side is innocent. It's a war. You can only fix the problem when the war is over. Unfortunately, so it's war wrong the, for standing with his people. He wrong for saying if you if black people don't support the Israelis, fuck you. Like, we just supposed to blindly support right, right. the Israelis no matter what. That's like me telling y'all to just support me. Y'all don't know me. Right. If you don't know me and I tell y'all to support me and fuck you if you don't, your first instinct is to say, I'm not supporting you because you're putting me in a either ride or leave position instead of telling me what you, why. What you and and there's, that, this, there's this desperate attempt to drag us black people right. into that conflict. Right. We ain't got nothing to do with none of it, to be honest. And who but, fights in our conflict? Right. Mm -hmm. Because the black people who are saying something, you got a lot of black people getting fired. Right. Whatever side that you lawyer, take. That yeah. was a $250,000 job she lost yeah. just because she expressed an opinion that was more on the Palestinian side than the Israeli right. side. Right. A sister who's a, a professor at a university, mm -hmm. she said, hey, I support Palestine. Oop, you're anti-Semitic. She lost her job. So mm -hmm. black folks need to stay out of this bullshit yeah, as far definitely. as I'm concerned. Stay basically. out of it or yeah, fight to have freedom of speech? Well, the th well Which that's one? A good, a good point. That's a good point. But the thing is, is if we're going to do the freedom of speech, freedom speech thing, let it be for something that benefits black society and not these other people. My thing is, because we're fighting for freedom of speech. A lot of us do business with people... <laughs> With the Israelis. Also, I want to point out, Adam22 is very controversial itself. I don't follow his platform, but this conversation was very interesting. 
to have a Hebrew Israelite with Tariq Nasheed and a bona fide member of the Pyrus WAC 100. Very interesting panel. I like that Adam didn't have to too much to say in this clip. He let he let the person with the knowledge and the perspective do most of the talking. So I do appreciate that. Respectfully, I'd love to hear your opinions on this topic. Respectfully. Leave it in the comments below, man. We out of here.